Do you know that you can actually move to Sweden if you have just a master's degree? Like you need basically just a master's degree for you to move to Sweden. In case you don't know, the Swedish government has introduced a new visa policy that would allow international graduates, highly skilled international graduates, people who have studied abroad in any country of the world who have at least a master's degree to come to Sweden and search for job or start a business. So this visa is going to allow you to stay in Sweden for up to 9 months for you to secure a job or start a business in Sweden. I think this is a very big turnaround and the good thing for this visa is that you do not need a job. You do not need to have secured a job for you to apply for this visa. All you just need to show is that you have a master's degree and you have sufficient funds to um, sponsor yourself to live while you're currently searching for a job in Sweden. So this is a very, very big turnaround for people who are looking to move abroad, people who want to relocate. So in this video, I'm going to share with you the details of this new visa, of this new Sweden search year visa, which you should apply for. I'm going to share the details with you and show you how to apply for this visa and also all the necessary requirements you have to be aware of. So in case you're meeting me for the first time, my name is Damilola ODS and on this YouTube channel, I talk a whole lot about finance, making money online and at times I do this kind of videos to show people opportunities that are available to travel abroad. I recently did a video about moving to the Netherlands. Here is the video in case you want to move to the Netherlands, you should try to watch that video as well. So let's quickly jump into my laptop and show you exactly how the application works everything you need to know about the application please in case you haven't subscribed kindly smash that subscribe button right now give this video a big thumbs up i would really appreciate if you do that to make sure this youtube channel continues growing so let's get started right now this is the official application page where you could find every information you need about this application so i'm going to leave the link to this application page in the description box below so please check the description box below in case you need more information about this application but i'm going to divide my talk here into um, two major sections firstly an overview of the application what does the application involve what are the requirements so that's the first part we're going to talk about while the second part is going to be about how to apply so let's quickly get started right now so this is um, basic information about the application. Please note that this visa would be for a minimum of three months to at least a maximum of nine months. So the permit you're going to be offered would be for up to three months to nine months. So it could vary. You could either be given three months, you could be given six months, you could be given five months, you could be given a maximum of nine months for you to um, secure a job or start a business in Sweden. So let me quickly go further. Now, let's look at the application itself. Let's look at the requirements. So these are the requirements of the applications. Please, I would really appreciate if you pay close attention here so that you don't miss any critical information about the application. So it says that the first thing is you should have completed studies corresponding to an advanced level degree. And here, they, they say that it must correspond to up to 60 credits master's degree and or um, 120 credit master's degree or a PhD anyone so if you have either a master's degree or a PhD then you've met the first um, requirement the second requirement is that you should plan to seek employment or explore the possibility of starting your own business definitely that's exactly what you're going there to do and you should be able to support yourself and here they're going to ask for proof of fund which I'm going to show you shortly and also have a comprehensive insurance valid plan for to take care of yourself while you're in sweden definitely you can always buy insurance um, plans online these requirements are not so difficult for you to um, get and also they say that you need a passport that's going to be valid for at least nine months at least visa if your passport your international passport is valid for at least nine months then you can just go ahead and start the application process another thing is you should be outside of sweden for you to apply for this definitely they want people from outside of sweden to apply and come inside of sweden so that's it so let's quickly 
um, go into about how to apply how can you apply for this thing there are majorly two ways you could apply you could either decide to apply online through their e-service or you submit your application directly to the embassy or the consulate in your own country so this is exactly um okay, how do we then apply through the e-service for you to apply through the e-service there are a few conditions you need to fulfill before you can maybe apply through the e-service first you need a digital copy of your passport definitely um your passport your international passport a digital copy showing the page um of your bio data like your your first name your last name your date of birth and all of those things you need a copy of your certificates you need a copy of your transcripts and this is very important you need copies of your bank statements at this point here and your bank statement should show that you have at least 13,000 Swedish kroner per month for the period of time you're going to be staying in Sweden. Maybe the period of time which you want to apply for. So, but I would advise you to get a minimum of 13,000 kroner for at least 9 months. Since the visa is for a maximum of 9 months, then just get enough money that can show that you can support yourself for up to 9 months and then go ahead to apply. The reason for this is that so that you can be given the entire 9 months so that the, the, the embassy would not have um, a reason not to give you nine months definitely so just show them at least 13,000 Swedish krona for each month you're gonna be spent so it's your job now to do the calculation and um, provide such bank statements and also they wanted to see digital copies of your health insurance your valid health insurance you can buy that online and a signed copy of the fact that you're giving the Swedish government an authorization to contact your institution where you had your degree just to confirm that your degree is original, your degree is valid. So here you can just download the letter of consent and then submit it. And also you should be able to pay any application fee with your debit card or your credit card, anyone. So those are the conditions for using the e-service. If you meet the conditions, then you can just go ahead and apply. So this is what the um, e-service portal looks like so when you click on this apply here it's going to take you to this portal here then it's going to ask for your mobile bank id bank id you no know, um in your own case most likely you don't have an account on this portal so if you don't have an account just come here click on username and password when you click on username and password it's going to show you how to create an account when you click on username and password it's going to show you a place that writes create an account there you can create an account and then start the application process so having said that i'm going to also share with you the second method in which you can apply for this um, visa okay this is where they mentioned the required proof of fund um, so that it won't look like I'm making it up myself. It says, you can see there that it's 13,000 for each month for which you are applying for a residence permit. And also, not just the um, proof of fund for the amount of months you want to stay, also you should be able to show that you have enough money that can pay your travel home. They are assuming that you don't get a job or you're unable to start a business, then you should show that you have enough money to go back home. But definitely, I don't think that getting a job or starting a business should be much of a problem for you because if you're really focused applying for jobs in majorly good organizations good international organizations you're definitely going to get a job or even if you don't get a job you can always start a business in this case okay so if you're unable to let's say you don't meet some of the requirements of um, this issue of um applying online then you can decide to apply directly to the embassy or the consular the british embassy the, sorry i said british no the swedish embassy or the swedish consular in your own country so here you just come here and open this form this form that says resident permit for highly skilled persons to come blah 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 then you click on that form that's the form if you don't want to apply online which you could use to apply at the swedish embassy so this is what the form looks like here you just come fill this form here don't worry about the case number it's going to be filled by the embassy authority then the signature don't worry about that so yours is to fill all of this put in your surname put in all of those basic information your passport your contact details so all of this they just want to know about you and um, this is the letter of consent which you're also going to submit online if you're applying online 
and that's basically it so if you are, want to apply at the embassy definitely it is your job to book an appointment at the swedish embassy in your country any country where you're residing if there is no swedish embassy that can accept this kind of application in your country then you can just go to a country close to your country you can just go to a country nearby and then um, file your application there okay there's one other last thing after you've submitted the application your application has been granted um successfully um let's say you've been approved that okay you maybe you've been given like seven months or you've been given nine months for you to come stay search for a job in sweden another important thing is you would be invited to submit your photograph to take a photograph to submit your thumbprints and all those kind of things so if you look at it here they said that you would receive a residence permit card um okay in some cases some people do not need an entry a, a residence permit um, an entry card an entry visa to come into sweden and those are majorly for people who are currently living within europe so if you're not living within europe definitely you need a visa on your passport that would allow you to come into sweden okay so here they say you have to make an appointment at the embassy to provide your fingerprints to provide um to take a photograph before arriving in sweden so that at least they can prepare your residence permit card so you can see that this application is very very straightforward not so complicated it's something i feel you can do actually just ensure you um get the right documents submit them as soon as possible and i think that would be it and another thing which i wanted to say is that please i understand this kind of visa the conditions that come with them so if you're going to be applying for this visa please prepare your mind that immediately you arrive in sweden you have to start applying for jobs like even before you arrive you have to start applying for jobs because your stay in the country is directly tied to two things firstly either securing a job that can help you get a work permit that would allow you to stay in the country full time or you start a business so here they've provided more information about if you want to apply for a work permit let's say you've already secured a job conditions that should be tied to the work permit and all of those things they've provided those information here and here if you want to start a business you want to switch to a self-employed um, visa then they've provided all necessary information there so this is where i'm going to wrap it for this particular video